India for the first time showcases capability to shoot down fixed wing drones, swarm drones using 30 kilowatt laser weapons. India has now joined a list of selected countries including United States, China and Russia who have shown such a capability. We have to work on a few more technologies. One is scaling the power, one is the beam combination to achieve higher efficiency of their combination. But we are sure that in, in the next few years we will have this capability. We are also, as DGECS mentioned, looking at how we can miniaturize it to put it on airborne platforms, how to put it on ships. So this is a journey which has started today, which is a demonstration what we gave you today. It's just the start of the journey. And with the synergy that this lab has achieved with other DRDO laboratories, industry and academia, I'm sure we'll reach our destination soon. All right, my colleague Vishnu Shom joins us uh, to get us more on this. Vishnu, this is quite an achievement for India. How significant is this uh, for uh, our country? Well, this is literally Star Wars technology, uh, you know, sort of being tested in India. It is absolutely crucial because... Warfare itself has changed dramatically. The pace at which drones have redefined warfare is something that India needs to respond to. Very often, and let me give you a couple of examples, um, drones have changed the nature of warfare in Ukraine, where tanks, which have been a mainstay of fighting formations, are very vulnerable to cheaply produced drones, which go and hit them and explode and then destroy tanks. Now, how do you defend against something like this? So let me give you another example. You know, very large warships costing close to a billion dollars, if not more, um, you know, can be attacked by swarms of drones and, you know, can be sunk. Now, typically the way that you intercept incoming drones is by using surface-to-air missiles. Surface-to-air missiles, uh, you know, each ship or each surface-to-air missile complement on the land, they only have a limited number of missiles. Uh, and therefore, expending these very expensive missiles becomes problematic. Therefore, if you've got a laser-based solution, uh, then it offers a much cheaper and a much quicker response to the threat of drones, which we are now seeing. Right. Uh, Vishnu, in fact, uh, the DRDO chief, uh, he was uh, answering, a question, uh, answering the questions to uh, uh, the news agency ANI, where... Uh, a uh, very prominent question was also asked, uh, when will India get its first fifth generation stealth fighter? Take us through uh, what exactly he said uh, while answering that. I think let's focus a little bit more on this particular drone technology because it's absolutely critical. And I think the entire issue of cost is something which is absolutely crucial. Um, when it comes to surface-to-air missiles, which I was talking about, which are used to intercept incoming drones presently, a single surface-to-air missile system can cost up to $2 million or even more, whereas a single shot fired by a laser costs under $1. So that gives you an idea of why lasers or directed energy weapons, as they are called, uh, is something which is absolutely, absolutely critical in terms of being, of defending against the threat of drones from you know, incoming, uh, incoming drones, uh, which can take out tanks, which can take out ground formations, soldiers, and indeed ships as well.